everybody welcome to my channel if you guys are new my name is felicia and this is richard over here Hello. we do have a daily vlogging channel so i'll leave the link in the description box so you guys can check that out bi-weekly vlogging now bi-weekly vlogging sorry i'm just saying daily <laughs> we're doing twice a week for vlogs so today's video we're going to be doing a grocery haul from costco shoppers drum Mart, and fresh ghosts and those are our typical stores that we shop at each week and we spent about $300 all together with all those three stores combined. So and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and hit that red subscribe button down there so you guys can support our channel. We post every Wednesdays and Fridays on lifestyle, food, and motherhood videos. So let's get right into the video. We don't always spend $300 a no. week on groceries. It's just this week since we've been missing uh, over two weeks there since the holidays. Yes. We didn't buy any groceries no. for family dinners. So it's double the stuff right. because we missed a week of groceries. All right, so we're gonna show you everything we got. Mm -hmm. So here at Shoppers Drug Mart, we got a magazine, some uh, cleansing oils for the face with some pink lipstick. So I'm trying out this new Burt Bees uh, cleansing oil. I will show you more in my favorites video for December. And this magazine we got because of what was on the front page pretty much. We all we all want to get fit and change our mood and our mind and our hair. The reason we got the magazine is because on the inside there's some fantastic recipes. Like yes, right there, that's some dragon fruit. And then there's like awesome ways to preparing those fruit bowls. Great magazine. And I got a new... Earth's Bee uh, lipstick, so it has lip balm and lipstick in the same time, time. and I got this shade. Pink. Yeah. So then we also got some, some baby foods here. We got soup, and we got a lot of prune, yeah, pumpkin, pear and prunes, and then yeah. some buckwheats. So those are really healthy foods for Kiara there. And then at the Costco, we got the lemons, which is a cross between a mandarin orange and a lemon. And then we got some organic, soy-free, dairy-free bread. Carrots, apples, avocados, onions. smaller onions instead of the big Spanish onions. It's like a big bag of onions for $2. No. Then we got some pork loin. It's the cheapest kind of meats at Costco. Uh, so it's only like $14 for the pork loins. And over here, we got spinach. And then behind the spinach. This is a really awesome stir fry yeah, blend. It's a stir fry blend that you can, it. I'm going to put it in the instant pot and saute it. Mm. If you've seen our other videos, you'll see the instant pot that we've used other recipes for. Then so right here we've got a lentil soup. It's eight packs and it's served per one person apparently. But I haven't seen what the pack looks like yet. Multivitamins and we made sure that there's no uh, color red, yellow, or things like that. Any Those are like yeah, any of the negative chemicals. Mm -hmm. A no salt seasoning, so it's got lemon peels, oregano, thyme, all and kinds of good stuff. Look at all the ingredients in here. Oh, it's yeah, mind blowing. Like you could put that on any kind of recipe that you want to make. It could be uh, on some, some type of meat or stir fries, a lot of stuff. Yeah, if you want to read the label longer, just pause the video. Yes. And then we've got say um, some organic pasta here with some chicken in it and other oh. awesome ingredients. Here, and it's gluten free as well. Yeah, here we got some gluten free pasta. It's what I was looking for. It's also got some amarath in there. It's if you're looking for a gluten free flour, you want amarath or sorghum, which is uh, buckwheat is also gluten free. So I'm really excited to try this pasta combination. And we got regular peppers, um, oatmeal, potato, bananas, and some daily essentials, which is like. Uh, applesauce, lots of orange juice. Since I work nights, I need uh, vitamins. So I take multivitamins, some orange juice, and some vitamin D pills. And the reason our grocery was a little higher is because of uh, these little essentials there, garbage bags, food bags. So yeah, that's our groceries. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. And give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to check out our other videos on this channel and our not our daily vlogging, but our vlogging channel. I'll leave all the links down below and also leave what I got today in the description box as well so you guys can know where to get it and how much it is. And don't forget to subscribe uh, if you want to see other videos like that, like this, like the video so we'll know that you enjoy these grocery hauls. Thank you so much for watching today's video. We just have a few, th a few questions for you that you can leave down in the comments down below. 
So we just did a grocery haul that's around $275 roughly, but that's also including some products that we don't normally buy every week, like garbage bags and sandwich bags mm -hmm. and outdoor garbage bags. So there's the kitchen ones and there's the outdoor ones, the big yes. black ones. So that's lasts us like half a year long. So we don't usually buy that. So right. if we subtract that from our grocery list, then we're saving like almost $50 right there. So what we're asking you is since we just waited a week and a half to two weeks before we did our groceries and it cost us an average of $230 for three people, that includes Food For Me and Felicia and Kiara, we're asking you to leave in the section of the comments below, what, how much groceries does it cost you for a family of two to three or just for yourself? And are you eating healthy or are you eating foods that are high in fat, high in sodium and sugar? Like bread, like that, that is from like Dempster's, that has like 25 grams of sugar per slice. Or do you eat the healthy bread that has no fat right. or no sodium? And then you've got wheat, if you've got like celiac disease or if you don't, if you eat gluten-free foods or organic foods. So are you investing in your health or are you eating not so good and saving money and saving cash? So let us know. We would love to know your answers and what you guys are doing. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down below and check out our other videos. We recently posted one where he talked about if coffee is good or bad for you. So we will see you in our next video. Bye. Check out my vlog channel and also check out this video right here. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for this channel and turn your post notifications on so you'll never miss a video. Bye!